Just recently I posted a short where I explained how I'm trying to get my old analog video intercom system smart connected. I tried to hook into one of the video monitors to get control over what's happening at the door. The main goal was to control the door lock via Home Assistant. But then I realized that this was not the perfect solution. Because even though I would be able to hook into this video monitor and kind of get all the signals into Home Assistant, I would still have the problem that, for example, the camera which is outside of the door was just of really bad quality. Also, I realized that the video monitor inside the house and the camera and the doorbell outside the house would communicate with each other with a certain protocol that I don't know about. So I decided that instead of hooking into the video monitor which is inside the house, I would just replace the electronics outside of the house, but still keep the existing housing and the wiring so that it would look as usual, but I would still be able to have my own camera, my own controller, which would then also connect to the doorbell button as well as to the microphone and the speaker outside of the house so that I would have full control over what's happening and would still keep the existing appearance and housing. I decided to go for a two-step approach because putting all that together would be quite complicated and would take a little time. So the first step was to just replace the existing electronics and make sure that at least the doorbell button would still work and the camera would still work. If you're curious to see how the existing electronics in this old analog video intercom system look like, I will explain this to you now. Otherwise, you can just skip to the next chapter. This is how the camera actually looked like. This is an analog camera and it also comes with some infrared LEDs for night vision as well as a sensor that senses the brightness and activates the infrared lights and also the a night vision mode of the camera in case this is necessary. And this is the main PCBA. This has some connectors. First of all, a connector that goes inside the house to the indoor monitors. Then we have also the connector which goes to the door lock. This connector on top here goes to the camera. Then we also have one connector that goes to the speaker and we have one connector that goes to the microphone. And then of course we have the buttons for the doorbell. But now let's get into our 2B architecture. For the main controller for the outdoor solution, I decided to go for a Raspberry Pi 0W. This is a quite small Raspberry Pi, but still comes with full Linux distribution. So it has a lot of power and you can do a lot of things with this. And what's really cool about a Raspberry Pi is that there is a lot of different camera modules that you can attach to this, uh, which have also a good quality. For the camera, I use such a camera. This is a wide angle camera for the Raspberry Pi. And then I have also some small little push button, which is also required for step number one, where we want to make the doorbell button also functional. So I have this little push button that I will also integrate into the circuit. So this is how the circuit for step number one looks like. We have DC 15 volt power that come from inside the house. This is the standard power supply that came with my video door intercom system. I then use a step down converter to convert this to DC 5 volts and connect this to the Raspberry Pi in order to power it. Then I also attach the wide angle camera to the Raspberry Pi and I attach the push button to a GPIO on the Raspberry Pi to use this for the doorbell. The Raspberry Pi 0W connects to our home Wi-Fi network. 
And on the Raspberry Pi, I run a Python tool, which is called MQTT.io. And this tool is quite handy because it allows to expose the GPIOs directly to MQTT. So you can define which GPIOs you want to monitor and then it will just publish the states of this GPIO directly to an MQTT broker. This MQTT broker is my Mosquito server, which is running as an add-on on my Home Assistant instance. And from there, Home Assistant can get the data via subscribing to the corresponding MQTT topic. Additionally, I open an RTSP camera stream on the Raspberry Pi Zero W, which allows me to broadcast the camera signal as well to Home Assistant. With this, I was now also able to add an additional doorbell button at the lower height for my kids, which is actually a Zigbee button. Now let's have a look into the Home Assistant automation that handles the event when the doorbell button has been pressed. We have two triggers here. The first trigger is the MQTT IO doorbell changes to on. Here um, we have the push button which is attached to the Raspberry Pi and which um, then sends its state via MQTT IO to Home Assistant. So when this push button is pressed and the second trigger is, um, is an event that gets fired by my Zigbee button which is the children doorbell button which is at a lower height. So if one of those two triggers appears then First of all, set the volume to a higher volume on my Amazon Alexa to make sure that everybody can hear the doorbell ringing. Then I send an audio file to this echo speaker, which um, is a ding dong sound kind of. There's a special MP3 file, which is converted in a way so that Amazon Alexa can handle it. And you have to set the type to TTS. Then this doorbell ring will be played and then after that I also want to send a message someone rang the doorbell to the Amazon Echo device and after that I can also lower the volume again to make sure that it will not be super loud the whole day afterwards. Then I take a snapshot on the Raspi Cam which is the camera that is attached to the Raspberry Pi Zero W um, outdoors at the um, uh, at the doorbell and then I send a notification with all devices so to all of my devices including and that's very important now also this doorbell um, picture which is the one that is taken here from the Raspberry Cam so you can see this is stored in my um, public folder so that it is accessible from um, outside of Home Assistant and here we have my Nabucasa public URL and there I can yeah, um, get this picture which is then attached to the notification. And then additionally I call the, broad, um, the, the mod uh, browser pop-up um, to make sure that um, when I have a tablet for example which uh, will be attached to the wall um, then I get a pop-up directly on this tablet when the Home Assistant dashboard is opened, which will directly show the live camera view here, as you can see. And um, yeah, this is uh, very handy. So you can directly see a pop-up that says, hey, someone rang the doorbell. And here you can see the configuration file for MQTT.io. It's just some simple YAML code. It kind of works like ESP Home. So you just define, first of all, your MQTT connection with your host. In this case, for me, it's homeassistant.local because the, my Mosquito broker is running on my Home Assistant instance with port 1883. And then I have decided that I want the MQTT topic be prefixed with smart intercom. I have to add my user, my MQTT user and my MQTT passport. And I also enable Home Assistant auto discovery for the topics which is now enabled. Then I have to define um, an input module. In this case, it's GPIO module, um, which is called Raspberry Pi. So this tells MQTT IO that it shall look for the uh, GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi. And then I just define one digital input in this case, which I call doorbell. I use this 
GPIO module Raspberry Pi. I set it as a pull down and then I say okay this is on pin 4 so it means GPIO 4 and then also for the home assistant auto discovery I say this is a binary sensor and I call it doorbell. That's actually all that has to be done and then MQTT IO will automatically listen to the GPIO 4 and publish changes to this GPIO signal level directly to Home Assistant. Now let's see what happens if I press the doorbell. Jemand hat an der Tür geklingelt. If you like this solution and are curious to learn more about how I will further develop it, then please subscribe to my channel and also watch my other videos with more interesting smart home content. Thank you, bye bye.